much and okay. a lot of worn high waisted jeans. You can so today we are in my friend Danny's bedroom. You may remember her from our super fun show, Buy or DIY. And we are actually collaborating on an epic bedroom makeover. Epic. So I'm gonna show you how to achieve the bedroom of your dreams in a few easy steps. I bought a ton of decor to bring this room together and Danny DIY'd some amazing pieces for this space. Looks amazing. It really does. And all of her DIYs are linked down below, so go watch them. You can learn how to make these amazing things for your bedroom at home. So stoked. <laughs> So Danny loves a lot of different design styles. She loves boho, she loves um, like a little bit of rustic kind of farmhouse yep. stuff going on. Little modern. You love modern things. Yep. So my challenge was to combine all of those styles into one room. She nailed it. Except for turning off her phone. So my challenge was to combine all of those styles into one room. And we kind of went our separate ways. I surprised her with a bunch of decor. She surprised me with her amazing DIYs, and it came together quite beautifully. It was like Christmas. Less of it. For design. <laughs> so I had a bit of a higher budget for this makeover, but we literally made over every single corner of this space. It's true. It needed it though. It really did. Wow. It re sorry, but it did. Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, I lived in this room, and it made me very sad. <laughs> and I just want to let you guys know at home that when I do have a bigger budget. I'm not saying you have to implement every single product or every single change. You can pick and choose and pick a budget that's right for you and implement some of these changes. I can guarantee that even just implementing a few will drastically change your space. First, let's take a look at where you started with this room. The befores. <sighs> the big befores. <laughs> so roll the tape. Danny painted this whole room white and then did this amazing DIY with some forest green paint. How good does this look? So if you guys want to know how she did this amazing DIY wall, you can check out the video. I've linked it below and in an iCard here. It's such a simple way to create a beautiful accent wall. And that would be actually one of my first tips in your bedroom. Create an accent wall. That might be with a headboard, a shelf above your bed, a gallery wall, totally. some paint. So we've put the DIYs in the room. Your beautiful bench, your beautiful side tables, amazing accent wall. And then I brought in a bunch of decor. Oh my god, it was like Christmas. Ah, ah, I love it. So oh. many knobs. <laughs> oh my god, look at this. This is gonna look so good with the green. And a rug. <laughs> Let's get this makeover started. First things first, I'm going to replace the ceiling light. This is what I lovingly refer to as a boob light, and they are not the best lights to have in your space. I find just changing these in a room makes all the difference. And there are some really affordable, decorative lights out there just like this one. Next up, I'm changing these curtains. These are really, really dark for this room. And my rule of thumb is always to go with a really bright curtain if you're looking to add some light into your space. Danny can't change the rental blackout curtain, so these are just gonna hide that and make her space feel a lot more open. I love the texture of these curtains, and this is actually another tip, is when you're styling your bedroom, you wanna make sure you're bringing in lots of layers, lots of texture, because it really makes your bedroom feel so cozy. And I, I feel like- texture on you? <laughs> Do you feel cozy? Now it's time to lay the rug down. Danny didn't have a rug before, which was making the space feel really cold. A big one like this will really warm up the room and make it feel a lot bigger and a lot cozier. I wanted something that was a bit rustic and a bit neutral, and I also wanted to add in lots of texture, so I went with this gorgeous Cecil rug. I just love the way it looks with the dark green wall. Me amazing. too, and I love how it's neutral, but it has that texture in the Cecil, so it, again, is adding in those textures, lots of layers. I think it's perfect for this space. I've never wanted to hang out on my floor before, but now <laughs> I do. Now you do. Now I do. I also really love layering in uh, faux sheepskins on top of my rugs. I feel like it adds that extra bit of warmth, and it's so nice 
to like put your toes in in the morning. Oh yeah, I love it. it. So another tip I have when you're decorating your bedroom, add in wall sconces beside your bed. They're functional because obviously they give off light, but they're also beautiful and decorative. You can also find some really inexpensive ones, like these guys. These were from the Home Depot. They were $60 each, which for a light is not bad. And I really like the way that they accent the bed, but not take away from the bed. And they're just that extra kind of piece of accent against your accent wall. So make sure when you're shopping for lights, if you live in a rental, to buy the plug-in wall sconces. These came with cord covers, um, which I think make them look so sleek. Oh, really? You don't cool. even notice that there's cords coming out of them. And they're really easy to install, which I love. Can you talk about your side tables? Those are amazing. So, I, I mean, I love these side tables. It was probably the easiest DIY I've actually ever created. It took one cut and three screws. That's it. And you guys can go see how to make these yourself over on the Coral channel. I'm going to link that video in the description box as well. I also really love how these wall sconces have the gold accents. Now it's onto the bed. To keep with the texture in this bedroom, I'm using this gorgeous linen duvet cover. I love using a linen cover because it has a lived-in look that's really boho and low maintenance. On top, I'm throwing a gorgeous pom-pom blanket. And you guys, this blanket that Danny is wearing was $26. It is linked below in my Amazon shop. You can never go wrong with a throw on the bottom of your bed. Again, it adds that extra layer of texture, coziness, warmth. Even if you don't use it, it just looks beautiful. It's got pom -poms. Pom -poms. So I know you guys at home always need solutions for extra storage. I think I say this in every one of my videos, but like use baskets, yeah. decorative baskets. So I've placed three in this amazing bench that you made. I didn't know how much I needed this bench until I made it, put it in my room, and then started to use it. And I'm yes. like, I get why you need one. I do too. It's so useful. And at the end of the day, you can like throw your clothes on yeah. it if you're like lazy and don't want to put them in the laundry bin. And yeah, it's just, it's decorative, it's beautiful. And then I put these baskets underneath it where you can have some extra storage space. Do you want to know where I got the baskets? Dollarama. <gasps> What? For $2 really? each, yeah. Now it's time to move on to the dresser. The easiest way to update your current dresser is to switch out the knobs. I wanted to tie in all the gold accents in this room with these amazing gold knobs. I actually didn't mind the black knobs before. I thought no, they either. went with that rustic kind of vibe, but mm -hmm. putting on the gold ones, they look so glam. It just updates the piece. Yeah. And $25 to update a piece of furniture you look at every day, not expensive. Not expensive. But totally worth it. So above this dresser, there's a perfect blank space for a gallery wall. To start this gallery wall, Danny and I actually traced all the photos on some packing paper. You can use wrapping paper or brown paper, whatever you have. And we stuck it on the wall with painter's tape. Yep, so easy. That way we could see what the layout looked like. We moved some around, we played with the layout, and then you're not like, well, hanging them up like yeah. randomly and then stepping back and being like, oh, that doesn't look good. It's a really good way to visualize it without having to commit and making holes in your wall. Yes. And then once you found your layout, you literally just put your, um, what are they called? Your nail. And then you can just like rip the paper. Hang your picture. And hang your picture. Amazing. I also found these really cool wooden hangers. I've also linked those down below. Actually, all the products are linked down below. But I love these for a gallery wall because you don't have to commit to like a picture frame. No. You can just ease, they're magnetic. So you just easily change out your pieces of art whenever you want, every yeah, week. So you can change it out right every there. week. So some tips for uh, creating your gallery wall at home. Use a mixture of photography, illustrations, typography, prints. I did some downloadable art. I talk about this all the time. It cost me $7, printed it out. I also went to my local paper store and bought some beautiful wrapping paper. Yeah, I really like the wrapping paper. It's nice, it's right? Cute. It's like such an inexpensive way to add some pieces to your gallery wall because putting a lot of art up can get really expensive. It can get pricey. I just make my own. <laughs> When I picked this art, I also um, picked different frames because I know you love that kind of eclectic boho look. I do. So I didn't want all the frames to match. You can also use washi tape like we did here. Really affordable way to just hang up some printed art. And as kind of a final finishing touch, we added this hook that Danny already had um, right beside the bed. And I thought this was a really great place to hang a onesie. Guys, um, true story as a side note, I, I literally don't leave my house a lot. 
and wear my onesie every day. And now for the finishing touches, we added this amazing gold planter from HomeSense. So I love it. This is so nice to tie in all those gold accents. I love filling a corner with plants. And then this amazing macrame hanging piece that your mom made. Yeah, my mom made that. So cute, I love it. Danny asked me to find a solution for her for her dirty laundry. And yeah. I guess my biggest tip is kind of what I say in every video, but you just have to hunt for those beautiful, cute, mundane things that you use every day that are not like always the cutest. Like you could go buy a plastic laundry basket. Well, or, that's what I was using, but right? I didn't like it. Or you could buy some beautiful de decorative ones like I did. Um, and I just think, again, like your, your closet's open, you're seeing them every day, mm -hmm. they should be beautiful to look at. Now for the finishing touches. There you have it, a beautiful bedroom. Danny, how do you feel? Do you like it? I feel so good in this space. Like I yeah. don't want to leave the space, which is the problem now. From where it came from, huge. If you guys loved this makeover, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any more makeovers like this. Yeah, she's give got- Give a thumbs up for Danny. Thumbs up for me <laughs> and thumbs up for you because you did an amazing job in this You space. did such you a great just, job with the DIYs. So. I can't get over it. Thanks guys, see you next week. Bye. Bye.